economy, you can build hospitals, you can build schools, you can help people get jobs, you can help people with childcare, you can deliver opportunities. A strong economy is everything. And it is a fact that our economy will be weaker if we leave and stronger if we stay. What that means is that on that ballot paper is British jobs, British families, the finances of people in our country, the strength of our country, and that is why we must vote Remain tomorrow in large numbers on Thursday. You've had so many facts and so many figures and so many arguments from so many different people. I can reel them off again. The IMF, the OECD, the Governor of the Bank of England, the trade union movement, businesses large and small, world leaders, universities, everyone say that our economy will suffer if we leave. And what is the response of the Leave campaign? It's to say that Britain's had enough of listening to experts. Today they were even comparing experts to Nazi propagandists. That is the extent to which they've lost it. But be honest with yourselves. If a car mechanic told you this car is unsafe, the, the, the brakes don't work, the fuel gauge is leaking, the steering is wonky, would you put your family in that car and drive down a motorway or drive over a bridge? Of course you wouldn't. Do you buy a house without listening to an expert? Should we build bridges or buildings or universities without consulting architects or engineers? Of course not. We should listen to these arguments because the economy is key to everything we want to achieve in our country. And let's be frank, there is no going back. If we leave the European Union, we can only rejoin, if we wanted to rejoin and join for the first time, the Euro, the Schengen no border system and give up the British rebate. That would never happen. So this vote, if we leave, is irreversible. If you jump out of the aeroplane, you cannot clamber back through the cockpit hatch. And that is why anyone in any doubt should be voting Remain tomorrow. This is a choice not just for this parliament, the next five years, the next ten years. It is the choice of a lifetime for people in our country, particularly young people. And I would urge everyone as they go home tonight and they think about how they're going to vote tomorrow, Look at your children. Think of your grandchildren. Think of the opportunities you want for them. We don't want to cut them off from opportunity, cut them off from the world. We want to give them the best chance we can, and that is why we should vote Remain tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> These, I think, are simple and straightforward arguments. Our country will be stronger if we stay. We are not diminished by being part of a European Union. Our power is enhanced. The way we get things done in the world is working with others. Whether we're trying to tackle climate change, whether we're fighting terrorism, whether we're standing up to Putin, whether we're dealing uh, with Daesh to our southeast, all of these things, we are stronger together. The idea that you take back control by leaving is an illusion. They would still be meeting. The European Union wouldn't stop existing. The French and the Germans and the Italians would still be sitting there making decisions about our lives and our continent. They'd be setting the rules. They'd be deciding the strategy, making decisions about our future, but without us in the room. That is not taking control. That is losing control. That is diminishing the country. And it's not the path that we should take.